Okay. So what we're going to do is we are just going to drag out a box. Okay. Now, right now we're in polygonal mode. Okay. And so everything is, is a nice hard edge right now. So if I click on the the tab key, which goes into sub D mode, you'll notice that it's a nice round, smooth circle. Okay, so if you click back and forth, you toggle between sub D's and um, polygonal mode. Okay, now there's two different types of sub D modeling in Lightwave. You've got sub patch and you got Catmull Clark. Um, most people usually use Subpatch, uh, subpatch uh, surfaces only work with four points, uh, polygons that have four points and polygons that have three points on it. I'll just give you an example of it here. Um, we're going to take the pen tool, draw out a polygon. Okay, so if I hit the tab key right now, notice they both go into sub D mode. Okay. Now, if I make a five-sided polygon, okay, and I hit the the tab key, look what happens. Only faces with three or four vertices can be converted to sub patches. Okay. So, if I got if I get rid of one of these points here, okay, and then I hit the sub patch key, see now it works. But okay, but if I go into Catmull Clark mode, okay, sorry, I have to uh, make you another five sided polygon. Okay, now if we go into Catmull Clark mode. Um, it should convert to a sub D, not a problem, as you can see right here. Okay. Um, the problem with the, the Catmull Clark ones is that, from what I'm aware of, um, when you're um, using them in layout, apparently they can they can slow down your your system. It's not that you you can't use them, but for uh, for animation purposes and so on and so forth, I, I would recommend going with um, with the sub patch. Okay, so that's what we're going to use for our um, tutorial today when we're building our creature head. We are going to use um, sub patch. So we're going to be try to keep everything in quads. Uh, quads uh, works better for a lot of things. Um, we're going to be at some point exporting this creature head to, um, to ZBrush. ZBrush works with three point and four point um, polygons. Okay. Um, but but to keep everything even and keep a, f a f smooth flowing mesh, uh, the tendency is to use uh, four sided uh, four sided polygons. So now what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to show you um, how you can control uh, just in a in a 2D sense how you can control um, sub patches. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this guy right here. Okay. Whoops, so we're going to go into sub patch mode by hitting the tab key. Once again, for those of you who are new, in order to go back and forth between uh, sub patch and polygonal, mo polygonal mode, you just hit the, uh, the tab key. Okay, so right now, um, if I wanted to turn this into a square, a perfect square, um, it looks kind of funny looking. It's just like this big O. So or there's a way that you can actually. Um, Create sharp edges inside of a uh, light wave and sub patch mode, okay, and that's to go over to this little W button, okay, and we're going to click on sub patch weight, and then we're going to go up to map, and we're going to go to weights, and then what we do is we drag on the corners, and we can create hard edges. So you just drag your uh, your mouse to the right and you have to put your your uh, cursor right over top of the edge now if you go if you push it to the left okay you can bring it in so you can actually control the shape 
of your uh, your sub D surface. Now, this uh, using this feature is is great if you have a model, say like a car or maybe like a robot, say like maybe like Iron Man or something like that, and uh, you need both uh, organic type shapes and you need um, and some some sharp edges as well. Uh, we're not going to be using uh, this specific feature for um, for our monster head, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the type of control you can have. A lot of people think that you can only do organic um, style modeling um, with uh, with uh, sub D's, but that's that's not actually um, accurate. Um, now, I just made a perfect square right here using this, uh, using the weights button. Okay. Now, there's another way that I can make make this square in sub D mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that. 